we'll just go for thyroplasty, thyroplasty basics. This is uh, thyroplasty. Basically, I'm talking on uh, any work on the thyroid cartilage. This is the midline. Uh, this is the Mike is gone. Hey. Hello. He's gone. Hello. Hey. Yeah. So uh, I told you the midline we draw from uh, thyroid notch, V of thyroid notch to lower border, and we. So uh, make a triangle, a rectangular window at the level of vocal fold parallel to the lower border, like what I did yesterday, and you carve out. Now the measurements. Vertical measurements are taken from this place. It is by green uh, arrow, and you have to find out the midpoint from upper border to lower border, which is by blue line. The midpoint is uh, designated by red arrow, which will show the level of vocal fold. Here is the place where anti-commissure is attached. So we, as I told you, we have to make a rectangular window at the level of, on the affected side of ALA, parallel to the uh, lower border of thyroid cartilage. And usually we put about four to five in the lighter though. In in case of uh, the female okay. and five to six millimeter away in case of male. And the height and all I'll tell you later. So window measurements. See, remember, male larynx is bigger than female larynx. So male larynx, the height of the window is a uh, little bigger, 5 to 6 millimeter and 12 to 4 to 15 millimeter. Yesterday we did 5 to 12 millimeter. And the female, high, uh, in case of female, the height of the window is 4 to 5 millimeter. Why this 4 to 5, 5 to 6? Because inferiorly you should leave at least 3 mm struct so that it doesn't fracture when you are putting the implant. And width 10 to 12 millimeter in case of female. And the important portion in this thing is this particular posterior inferior quadrant, uh, the angle, it should not violate the uh, oblique line where the strap muscles are attached. This is the oblique line. Why, if it goes, what happens? It will push the arytenoid cartilage. So we don't want that. Now, this is uh, something I wanted to show you. This is the injection laryngoplasty where the paraglottic space is uh, filled with filler, like maybe hyaluronic acid or hydroxyapatite or fat for medialization. And this is the thyroplasty. And this is arytenoid rotation. Uh, why and how, I'll tell you later. <coughs> now, a uh, lot of silicon implants uh, shape has been changed. This is originally... Type A is originally de devised by Professor Ishiki, then became Type B, and uh, James Kaufman, he made it uh, into a boat shape, which I used yesterday. Uh, I prefer this boat shape because uh, this portion, it medializes the mid portion of the cord so well that the voice quality improves. Now, the changes of implant. This is typical um, thyroplasty type 1 um, silicon block. Montgomery implant is available in India, but it's very costly. That's why I've never used. Because the set is itself is 75,000 to 80,000. Netravelle, I didn't purchase the thyroplasty set, but I have used the implant, three implants I used. One, after 10 years, it tested it. Viacom, it has not come to India. It's just for academic interest, I am showing you. Because it has got a self-locking system. There is a locking mechanism to prevent extrusion. Gotex, I'll be showing you a Gotex video. Gotex is available in CTBS uh, theater. You can ask your CTBS colleagues to give you Gotex. 
uh, it is very nice. You can put it just like as you pack the nose with ribbon gauze in the similar manner, you have to keep on packing till you get satisfactory um, result. TBFMI, it has been uh, uh, devised by Professor Gerald Frederick of Austria. And uh, we have used about 36 cases. And the, uh, the advantage is, is very quick and very nice, secure, no extrusion. But the only disadvantage is the cost factor. It is about 17 to, uh, it is about 20,000 in Indian rupees. I'll be also showing you a, vi a video how TVFMI is inserted. Uh, there is some new development which we have done. Uh, Dr. Ashok Purohit of Sangli in, uh, in uh, Maharashtra is a good friend of mine. He used this um, this uh, titanium mini screw to medialize the cords. And in this case, one of your colleague, um, I'll be showing his video. He came from uh, Bangladesh. And after doing the type 1 thyroplasty, we found that his voice is still lacking. You require uh, one more, um, uh, you require arytenoid direction. So instead of doing arytenoid direction, I used 12 millimeter of uh, uh, this um, uh, titanium screw and I medialized the arytenoid. Now, what are the advantages? Operation is restricted to external laryngeal cartilages. You are not touching the vocal cords at all. So there is no scarring on the vocal cords. And it is a reversible procedure, safe procedure. Quality of voice production is far, far better than injection laryngoplasty. Now, I did not addiction. Why? Larynx consists of two biomechanical subunits. One is membranous part, which is anterior, and posteriorly is the um, uh, the uh, cartilaginous part consisting of arytenoid cartilage and cricoid cartilage. So, if there is a posterior glottic gap here, then comes the problem because you can only medialize the anterior portion, this portion. Okay. Whereas this portion, it is very difficult to medialize with only silicon block or thyroplasty. So, what Ishiki again in 78, he found out something uh, called uh, arytenoid adduction procedure. What he used to do is, he used to dislocate the cricothyroid joint and then uh, go in and take a suture through the muscular process of arytenoid and bring it out anteriorly so that the arytenoid rotates on its axis. <laughs> This will mimic the lateral cricoarytenoid uh, muscle. So this is the vector and it rotates. Once it rotates, the vocal cord comes to midline. You take a uh, figure eight suture. Uh, then Maragas, um, he created a C-shaped window posteriorly on the ala. And this I do very regularly. I'll be showing in my video also. You take a um, bite, figure eight bite, and pick it out anteriorly, and uh, anteriorly and tight. By this, you achieve your arytenoid direction, and the voice immediately it improves. <laughs> Now, this is type 1 thyroplasty. I have borrowed this video from my colleague. Now, I have done the shooting and everything, editing. So, she performed the surgery. This is to show hired bone, thyroid cartilage, precoid cartilage, and we give local infiltration. Give the space. And uh, because of the, we are elevating the strap muscles. Once the strap muscles are elevated, the strap muscles are um, separated in the midline and we elevate uh, on the affected side. This is on the right side. Now the measurements are taken, like I um, explained to you. This is from midline. Out you take a little laterally, about five millimeter. 
and i instead of using um the marking pen i use uh, uh, cautery to infiltrate hello, hello. to make the marking and this is as i told you yesterday the lower border i devised this one i put the scale because there is a thyroid tubercle which protrudes downwards so if you follow the thyroid tubercle your um, window becomes oblique i don't want that so once you have done it you measure meticulously and decide the window uh, width and height so now the window is being created we are outlining with the help of um, cutting cautery once you have done that i am elevating the thyroid cartilage thicker the thicker window and we are trying to cut it now the window is made and the finer touches are done and the the inner pericondium is elevated all around so that the medialization can can you see the medialization can take place very nice it is after that we again measure the windows to show that it is proper now comes the carving of the um, uh, silicon block like as i told you yesterday how to do the carving here meticulously we do uh, we do a boat shaped uh, uh, carving like i showed you earlier this one set is the once that is done so this is the boat shaped silicon block now i score this because once you score you can bend the implant like this why you want to do this because while inserting first you have to insert the posterior one where the depth is more and then gradually you put it inside the front portion sorry so here we are putting and the anterior portion is actually 2 mm because we don't want to medialize the anterior commissure area too much it will create strain in the voice so is being inserted and first posterior and then anterior then you push the enter mid one once this is done we check the vocal cord position using a this is now in position we use the um, fiber optic laryngoscope to visualize the cord position and once we are satisfied we take the implant uh, we secure the implant with 3o prolin so that it doesn't extrude after that the wound is closed in layers by after placing a mini vac drain okay hello my dear this no i'll show you uh, this is uh, arytenoid direction using tbfmi again uh, surface marking and we have uh, when we are planning for arytenoid direction we cut the strap muscles otherwise you cannot visualize the posterior portion of the thyroid ala so we have done now we take the measurements here that is the window 
Because there are too many videos, so that is why I am just doing a little bit fast forwarding. This is the inner pericondrium. Once that is done, this is the TVFMI. I have inserted and I was seeing that how much it is. Now I am doing the Maragas window for retinoid adduction because when we put the TVFMI, we examined, we found that there was a posterior glottic gap. And posteriorly, this patient had a uh, lot of calcification, so we had to use a drill. Now, here I am making a tunnel medial to the thyroid ala, so that from there we will take a bite. Now, this is the lateral wall um, of piriform fossa, that um, C-shaped cartilage which we removed, so you have to be very careful. Now, we have taken this suture. This is Trio proline suture through the muscular process of arytenoid, and we are bringing out anteriorly. Once you do, you are already you have achieved your goal. This is the TVFMI. The special plier comes for bending because you have to be very careful. If you bend once you cannot redo again, because if you redo, it will break. And these two holes are meant for securing it. Like I'm taking thioproline here and pushing it inside. <coughs> pushing it inside and placing it and securing it very nicely so that it doesn't extrude. Once that is done, we again see the uh, vocal cord position. And now the strap muscles uh, which have been cut, they are sutured back and wound is closed in layers. Can I have the sound? Excuse me. This is uh, after thyroid surgery. The patient had uh, unilateral vocal cord palsy. And we did uh, type 1 thyroplasty. And my name is Jasbir Jasbeer Kaurai. My last operation was with him. My very beautiful voice has come. So I am very... Okay. Now, this gentleman I was telling you where I used the titanium screw. He is a physician from Bangladesh. Some of you might know him. Dr. Babu Tawidhalo. I am from Bangladesh. I developed left side of vocal. Left side of... He had a thymic surgery, following which he had a cord palsy. And this is his post-operative voice. My name is Dr. Mamato Hidalo. I am from Bangladesh. I developed first sense of voice following thymic tube operation. It was done in 2014. Starting my thymic to me, uh, thyroplasty type 1 operation was done and I am okay. My now, this gentleman, again, I gave a life surgery demonstration in Pune. There, if you see, there is a huge posterior glottic gap. And his voice is like this. This is following a surgery on esophagus. Now, this is post thyroplasty with arytenoid adduction. And this is his voice. मेरा नाम नरेश शाह है एक साल पहले मेरा ऑपरेशन हुआ था उसके बाद मेरे आवाज में बहुत फर्क आ गया तो नाउ एज आई टोल्ड यू गोटेक्स दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल प्रोसीजर वी आर जस्ट शोइंग यू हाउ गोटेक्स इज इंसर्टेड इनिशियल नाउ व्हाई वी डिड इन दिस केस दिस पेशेंट हैड टाइप 5 कोडेक्टोमी फॉर पीए लैरिंग्स we waited for two years when he was uh, symptom free, disease free. We wanted to do a thyroplasty and thyroplasty for restoration of voice. You can see hardly any voice. 
Now there is no vocal cord. You see the stroboscopy. See, there is the absence of vocal cord mass. So if I put a silicon block, it will extrude. This is the uh, NBI and again surface marking. Here, we, we actually uh, create a very small We use a very small window because you don't require a big window. So, the window measurements are done and we made 5 mm by uh, I think 6 mm. Very small window, you, say, you can see. It was calcified. And we elevated all around. We are taking a 3O proline suture through and through because we want to tie it later. This is the Gore-Tex uh, 4mm strip. We are using 4mm strip. It's a long strip. So you keep on stuffing in the pocket what you have made. Here only anteriorly and little bit superiorly and little bit inferiorly you require to um, and of course posteriorly. So once you are done, your, your angulation is towards posteriorly. So once you have achieved desired voice, then we check with uh, fiber optic scope whether it is proper and then we secure it with 3O proline to prevent extrusion. And then of course you close the window in uh, layers. Now this is one lady. Mera naam Kamla hai. Main USA mein mera thyroid ka operation hua tha. Usse aawaz baith gayi hai. Ab main ilaaj karane hospital mein aayi hu. Now this is her voice. Mera naam Kamla hai. Abhi surgery hua 2 ghante pehle. Ab mera aaram hai. Just two hours before surgery was done. 